Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of the Lowdown This Lockdown. Today I'm joined by Silka, one of our tutors and lecturers in construction. So Silka, would you mind just introducing yourself please? Um, how long you've been here at Cheshire College for um, and who you are and what you do? Hi, uh, yeah, uh, my name's Phil Kanovac. Um I teach the, at the moment, I teach a level three programme in construction, uh, so that's the equivalent of A-levels. Um, and then I go on and, and I do the HE, so we, we deliver for the University of Derby and we do the HE degree for them as well, so we do uh, the foundation degree and then the top up. Um, yep, so I've been here since 2013, I think. We sort of moved back to Chester. I lived in Edinburgh. Um, and uh, yeah, just love being here, really. So yeah, I've been there quite a while <laughs> teaching. <laughs> yep. Amazing. I guess having doing the full time and the higher education, probably no two days look the same for you. Is there any, is, if you could talk us through a typical day in your life, what would that look like pre lockdown? <laughs> Pre-lockdown, okay, well lockdown, is, they, we try and keep it about the same, um, the, the difference is we're not on campus, so um, yeah, we, we deliver lectures uh, for our HE students, but it's because we're in college, it, it's a bit more informal, there's the smaller groups, um, so it's nice, um, and then with the, with the level three, um, what we try to do is just deliver a bit of chat, a bit of uh, information and then as much as we physically can, uh, we try to actually get our students to do the activities and try and get them out. Um, we've been working with um, companies to, to get our students out to site. So right now that's become remote. <laughs> so we're, we're on teams uh, with Chester at the moment. So we've got Vinci Construction working in Chester on um, the development in the centre there. So we've been lucky, really, really lucky that they're still willing to um, converse with us and show us all their live site photos so we can still see what's going on. Um, on the construction site while we're while we're there, and then we've we've obviously got small projects that we work with the, with the community as well. Um, so yeah, we try to get we we were going out um, to try and actually go and do surveying tasks and go and look at, at the new build that was getting built, um, a sort of renovation job. Um, so yeah, really really yeah, just try and keep it interesting. Um, but it is, it's theory based, like the level three programmes are theory based. If you're interested in trades and things like that and you actually want to get, uh, you know, uh, become a plumber, uh, we do have those trade um, construction courses too. And that is in the workshop. You do have to do theory. We all have to do maths. We all have to do English. <laughs> we can't get away from that, unfortunately. But um, but no, I mean, we love it. Um, so yeah, you, you can get in the in the workshop with our trade team as well, if you are interested in that sort of thing. Fantastic. And in terms of you working at Cheshire College South and West, what do you enjoy most about your job? And have you got any specific highlights that you'll look back in 10, 20 years and like really remember really fondly? And Yeah, I guess every year I come away thinking there's a new thing that I, I now suddenly realise about myself. And I think that's the same with the students. Like every group is different, like every, it's more about teamwork and and I think that's what I love the most when I come away and I think do you know what we actually worked as a team there or some of the students that have really developed themselves and, and realized what how good they they really can be um that's that's yeah the main thing I love playing with gadgets though so the fact that we've got <laughs> we've got like uh, VR equipment now we've got the 3d printing and we've got like um computer aided design and stuff like that so I really really love the fact that our college are really trying we're, we're trying to work with um with the industry because we're doing t-levels next year so it is it's it we've got to become the same as industry um so at the moment a lot of education is sort of okay sit down here's a workbook from 10 years ago uh, where we have to now be like right okay here's a project that's on site right now uh, what tools do we use right now to to work this project so i love all that we're getting drones in and stuff like that so i'm quite excited i do like gadgets um so I'd, yeah I, I really enjoy the fact that every year there's a new thing coming in yeah and i, and I get to see it in action really fantastic and i guess that's how we're like you said, as we're developing as a college as well, so we're trying to push forward and be yeah. industry leaders and really great to see. So in terms of your favourite thing about construction, would you say it's that developing new things all the time or teamwork? What would, What is your favourite thing about construction and why should people choose a career within it, would you say? 
I'd say variety. I don't know. I am one of those, my, the way my mind works, like I was an engineer, so I was um, sort of building services engineer. So I did electrical engineering um, was my job. It, when I went to university, I did um, building services engineering, but I did it quite late on. So a lot of students now, they're sort of thinking, what do I want to do? What do I want to be? Um, I would always say, just do what you want to what you want to do because that's what I did and that's what I really find that I love about construction is I started off sort of finance way of business and then I went into oh, actually I want to know how a building works and you can go anything from if you're into technology if you like gaming for example I mean look behind me my new world right <laughs> so you can build your own world so like my sometimes I have Minecraft on in the background um, but you know, you, I'll, if you want to play and 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 design and and build worlds like this, you can be a designer. If you want to just hands on construct it, you don't. You're not bothered about that. You just want to get on and make something. Um, you can. So I think that's the thing about construction is you, it doesn't really matter if you really if you love um, calculating and uh, working out problems. You can be an engineer. If you like the costing side of stuff, you can be a quantity surveyor. If you just like going out and analysing, you can be a surveyor. So there, there's too many, there's so many different roles. And I think that's the thing about construction that maybe people don't realise that actually you can go from one spectrum to another. Say you're into finance, you could become finance for construction uh, quite easily. You know, so if you start doing construction courses and you go, do you know what? I don't really fancy this construction bit. I like the the idea of doing something maybe a bit a bit different. There are roles out there uh, that are all related so you're never gonna lose <laughs> um, by being in the construction world um, you know so many opportunities aren't there like you say and if you want to stay if you know you want to be in that sector but you're not sure what you can do there's a vast amount of things and I think like you said it's all about trying them and seeing what works for you and you'll pick up different skills within that that you may be able to then take on to the next role yeah yeah oh totally just go for what you think and then and then that's what we're here for as well like as tutors we're here to help you we're not here for if we see that actually i've got a class and i've got people that really love designing i've got people that um just like doing the maths bits really good at maths and then people that really just like drawing <laughs> so i've got these spectrums but the idea is that you can be like that it's you know construction is like that that is what that's what we're all about it's about bringing the team together so you have all your um, and that is what that's what I love about construction as well. It is a lot about team. It's not about me, me, me. You can be me, 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 and you can do your own thing, but you are always part of a team. You're never alone, and there's always someone to sort of bounce ideas off and talk to. Um, and everyone just everyone who's in construction generally does like being in construction because um, you do it for the love of the job, really. So yeah, that's it. <laughs> Sounds amazing. And I know, obviously, we've touched on. Um, earlier on about being in England's third lockdown so we're back to remote learning and um, how have you been getting on with that how have your learners been finding it I know you said you've had to adapt um, ways and you're still being able to speak to those um, people in the industry who are there working on projects in real time how's it been for you during I guess we're only a week two weeks in now um, <laughs> oh yeah no I find it interesting half my class love being at home because they're just like right just get the work done i can just get on with stuff um and then half of them are sort of itching to get back with the communication because it again uh, you know some of it, different brains different minds you know some people really really thrive when they're on their own just getting on with work and then other people actually need that interaction and um so we're trying to develop that sort of way where so we are on teams as you can see i'm here um so i'm always here so we, you, we can always talk so actually it's not been too bad we still managed to you know um we still managed to keep everyone together um, but yeah, there there are, you know, it's it's not the same, you know, not the same as having, you know, I miss everyone at college, I miss all my colleagues, um, you know, the team, so I've got all the trade teams, so all these ideas, you know, I don't remember everything, so I have to go and ask them, <laughs> so I'm like, oh, what about this joinery, oh no, I've forgotten that term, right, oh, I have to go, you know, I normally just go downstairs and say, right, go to the trades and ask them um, about what they're getting up to, and obviously, you know, it, it's that sort of interaction that you have on site as well, um, so yeah, a lot of people, construction is back on, um, so construction is going ahead, it's just that our students can't, 
can't be involved, which is a shame because that's really what I love as well. I do miss that, being able to go and take everyone out and, and look at real projects being built so they can they can have and you can see it happening. I mean, to be fair though, I can look out my window and there's there's houses all around me. I'm living in a house. I can look and I can, you know, um, it's nice that I'm in construction because I'm surrounded by construction. But yeah, it's just, yeah, it is hard, but it's, you know, just keep going and everybody, as long as you know you can communicate, I think that's the main thing. Um, having a, for, a platform to communicate like this, that definitely, definitely helps. Um, so yeah, Fantastic. we're doing all right. We're doing all right. Not ideal, but we're all right. <laughs> and it's nice to know about obviously that you, the learners are still able to, like we say, see those, like the developments taking place in Chester. I know I've not been there for a while, but when I did go past, it looks mega. So I'm really excited for that. Yeah. In terms of learning at home at the moment and remote virtual learning would you have any nuggets of wisdom for learners during this time anything to kind of um that they can do to help motivate or keep on track yeah um oh yeah i would just say the main thing i would just always say communicate i think that's it it's like you're, we're in our own little worlds right and we feel a bit isolated sometimes because Although we're doing our own work, we're sort of thinking, is that right? Is that wrong? And normally you've got, you can just bounce it off each other or someone else is like, oh no, I don't know it. So normally you've got that other person in the room that's kind of helping help you learn. Um, but we haven't got that at the moment. So you have to, I would just say, you know, don't give up, um, keep asking and use these platforms like the one we're on right now. Fantastic. Thank yeah. you very much for that, Silke. And last but not least, and we're asking everyone this um, in this series, if you had to sum up your experience and time so far at Cheshire College South and West in three words, what would they be? Um, <laughs> three words, right, okay. Yes. Um, ooh, challenging, I'd, say, I'd definitely say challenging. I'd definitely say uh, interesting or yeah, something like that because yeah, I love the, the new stuff that's coming through. Um, I would say fun. I do love, I do really actually enjoy, like the construction department, they are funny people <laughs> and they're fun to be around, right? So uh, yeah, I'd say fun, what was I say, interesting and definitely challenging, but not in a bad way, in a, in a like, you know, you get out of bed thinking, right, I've got to do this today, right? How am I going to get that done? Uh, rather than, oh, don't want to do this, you know? Um, so yeah. Those, I guess the hardest challenges make for the best rewards, don't they, really, as well, usually? So. Yeah. Always. Yeah. Well, yeah, why else are you getting out up in the morning if you haven't got something interesting to sort of start? Oh, how am I going to work that one out? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Fantastic. Well, thank you very much, Silka, for taking the time out to speak to us today. Um, I really appreciate it. All right, thank you. Thank you very much. Bye. Bye.